Welcome everyone to the 18th episode of World of Warcraft Treasure Trove, a series where I will show you collectibles such as transmogs, pets and other collectibles for your collection, or for gold farming. In today's episode we will take a trip to a once per month event called Dark Moon Fair. Dark Moon Fair is like a circus but in WoW. You can do many things here, such as getting yourself shot from a cannon, tossing rings on a turtle, or flying through the air and collecting fire rings. And with games also come prizes, and that's what we will talk about today, more specifically the pets and mounts you can get from this great event. There are many collectibles to be collected, so let's not waste any more time and let's get right to it. Firstly, we will cover the pets and mounts that are purchasable from a vendor for Dark Moon price tickets. There are three different vendors that sell pets. Each pet costs 90 Dark Moon price tickets. The first vendor is located in this small tent here on the map and sells Dark Moon Hatchling, Dark Moon Monkey, Dark Moon Cup, Dark Moon Turtle, Dark Moon Balloon which is a non-combat pet and cannot be sold, Dark Moon Top and Dark Moon Zeppelin. This vendor also sells three mounts, the Dark Moon Dancing Bear, the Swift Forest Strider and the Dark Moon Dirigible. The first two mounts cost 180 price tokens each, while the Dirigible costs 1000, which will take a while to get. The next vendor is this small gnome moving along this path on the Dark Moon Island, here on the map. He sells only balloon type pets, so you cannot sell any of these, but if you want them for your collection, well, he sells Dark Moon Balloon, again, Murloc Balloon, Wolf Balloon, and a Horse Balloon. The third vendor is wandering around the forest on the east side of the island here on the map. This vendor sells two types of frogs for one gold each, the tree frog and the wood frog. We know what pets to buy, but we don't know how. How do we obtain the Dark Moon price tickets? Well, there are multiple ways. You can obtain the price tickets by doing the daily quests on the Dark Moon Island. To be able to do these quests, you must purchase the Dark Moon game tokens which are purchasable from multiple vendors on the island. You can then start completing the daily quests. Me personally, I don't do these quests since they take a lot of time and reward you with just one price tickets per quest. However, there are two quests that are worth doing. The Pet Battle Dailies, which combined reward you with 15 price tokens. You just defeat Jeremy Feasel and Christoph Von Feasel in a pet battle and you will get your tokens. But that's not all. From the bag you can get by beating them, you have a small chance of getting two other pets. From Kristoff you can get Sid the Squid and from Jeremy you can get the Dark Moon Eye. To beat Kristoff I use Mechanical Panda and Dragon League as the first pet and just spam its breath ability to kill Sid. To kill Mr. Pointy, I use what's left of the Dragon Link and move on with my Dark Moon Zeppelin and spam the missile attack. And for auto, I always do use the Triangle Mechanical Yeti and go with Supercharge first and call Light Link second, instantly killing auto. You always win with this combination no matter what. For Jeremy, I'm going with the Mechanical Panda Dragon Link again as the first pet. This time I always use Decoy first, since Judgment's first two attacks are mostly damage and speed steal, which are pretty annoying. There are cases when it does its speed steal as its third attack. When this happens, it's just unlucky, but you will still win the battle anyway. When I use Decoy, I again spam the breath ability right after. For the honky tonk, I always go with Pandar and fire spirit, but any other elemental pets that can burn the enemy and conflagrate will do. 
I always do flamethrower first, then conflagrate and burn to kill it. When the burn is wearing off, I use flamethrower to kill the honky tonk just for the burn to persist through the fight for the last pet. For the last fight, I use my Pandaren Fire Spirit till it dies. I do this because Fezwig always does a stun attack and then a huge damage attack. Then I'm using Cockblade Raptor. I always do exposure first and then spamming Badder, which kills Fezwig in just two uses. And that's it for the pet battle dailies. Another way of obtaining tickets is to complete the Dark Moon introductory quest, which starts in Stormwind or Orgrimmar. After completing it, you will get the Dark Moon Adventurer's Guide. When you have this item in your bags and you complete raids or dungeons, you will have a small chance of getting a quest item which awards you with price tokens ranging from 5 to 15 tokens. These quest items are BOE, meaning you can also buy them from the auction house, or sell them. But buy only one of each, since the quests are completable only once per character per event. So once you do the quest on one of your characters, you will have to wait for the next month's Dark Moon Fair on the same character to be able to do the quest again. You will be able to get 80 prize tokens from all the quest items combined. And in case you lost or deleted your adventurer's journal, you can retrieve it from Selina Derman, who is to the right, near the entrance of the Dark Moon Fair Festival, here on the map. She will have an option to talk about Dark Moon Adventurer's journal, and if you click on it and don't have it, there will be another option to get a new one. There is another vendor which sells two pets and a mount. Blorp, which is a non-combat pet for 50 Dark Moon Dagger Maws. Ghost Shell Crab for 100 Dark Moon Dagger Maws. And Dark Water Skate Mount for 500 Dark Moon Dagger Maws. You can get Dark Moon Dagger Maws by fishing around Dark Moon Island, but more efficient way of getting this is by fishing from the shipwreck debris which usually gives you around 4 fish per cast. While fishing from the shipwreck debris, you can fish up a sea pony, which is quite rare. But the most efficient way of farming these is to simply buy them from the auction house. The last two pets you can get come from rares of Dark Moon Island. The first pet is called Moon Moon and comes from a rare called Moonfang. This rare isn't up unless you summon it. To summon it, you wander around this forest, here on the map, and kill all the wolves. Once you kill enough of the small wolves, a message in the chat will say Beware, Moonfang Dreadhulls now prowl the woods. This means that the elite wolves will now patrol the area. Once you kill enough elite wolves, another message will pop up saying Beware! Dead Mother Moonfang has appeared in the woods. This means that Moonfang has spawned. For this rare, you require a group of people, which can be another way of getting a kill on this rare. Moonfang can also drop two toys and a quest item, which will then give you 10 Dark Moon prize tickets and can also be sold on the auction house. A cool trick to this is that you always get the quest item unless you finish the quest. So, you can make some gold by killing Moonfang, sending the quest item to your alt, and killing the rare again and again, and repeating the process. Go to the custom group finder and type Moon in the search bar and maybe you might find yourself a group that has already summoned Moonfang. While searching for the group, you might stumble upon the second rare that can give you the pet, the Dark Moon Rabbit. This rare is pretty simple, it's located on the map in this small cave. It either is there or not. The best part about these two rares is that you can kill them and loot the pets as many times in a day as you want. So technically you could get both pets three times in a day if you were lucky. Welp, and those are the pets and mounts you can get from the Dark Moon Island. 
There are other pets you can get, like Jab Jab, Hogs or Race Minizep, but those deserve a video on their own. And in case you are wondering, these are the prices of the pets on EU Realms and on my realm, EU Silvermoon, which is one of the more populated realms. And we have come to the end of the video. Like the video if you liked it, and if you are feeling generous today, try hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!